This exhibition has been a lot about revealing and putting your guts out. When I was thinking about this title, I was thinking about in, in the light of what? In the light of the truth, in the light of the things that we don't wanna talk about in the black community and outside of the black community don't wanna address. There's no hiding in this show. And everything is calling your action to have a conversation and to ask yourself real questions. The title of the Shea Butter Bus is Gluttony, Gluttony, Gluttony. Our Western consumption of shea butter is gluttony. These girls are getting paid 50 cents a day for a $2 billion industry, and we are consuming and consuming and consuming, and we're not talking about it. You cannot ignore that. The same way you can't ignore the power of the dandelions in healing this black community. I watch comfort movies when I'm depressed. And one of the comfort movies I watched was The Wizard of Oz. And there was this scene where Dorothy was laying in the poppy field and she had been cast a spell upon and she fell asleep in that field. And I remember crying because of the trauma that we were experiencing and then looking at that going, what a most peaceful, peaceful moment. And what I wouldn't give to lay in a field of flowers and feel peace right now because I was feeling very uneasy, very unsettled. To feel this peace in, to sit with the work, people don't do that in galleries. They don't sit on the ground. When it came to the blue lighting with the car, I always knew that I wanted this car to feel like it was going up. We had thought of many ideas to make that feeling, but then when we punched that blue into that concave space, it really felt like that car could have lifted. We played a lot with height in this exhibition. Everyone who was standing in the car, this car sat above their heads. And I think that that was a really important aspect to feel like it was transcending upwards. There's this play of darkness and light in this exhibition. There is a darkness of the dandelions. There's a darkness of the back room with the shea butter. But there's this illuminating light with both the shea butter and a seat above the table, Angela Bassett. There's a light to this where you look at the back wall of that chair and you see the complete shadow outline. There ain't nothing to hide here. You see right through it. This light and the amount was so important to feeling the energy of peace. And I think that each installation, it's meant to be felt with the body. And creating these clinical spaces in which we don't even feel comfortable getting close to the work, I'm not for that anymore. It's 2023. like. Let's start imagining creating spaces that black people feel comfortable in.